Okay. So in component, you can check the component property plot. Here we have pre critical pressure against the molecular weight. And then this is the critical temperature plotted against the molecular weight and eccentric factor, thermodynamic properties plotted against the molecular weight. Okay. And then logically we will input the composition and that's what we will do. So to, to composition, later we can also look the comp component composition plot, but here we will provide the composition. Comments, composition, you can also leave it blank. And the comment is enter the composition in mole fraction or percent. Normally, primary corresponds to the reservoir fluid, okay, primary, whereas the secondary, this secondary column, corresponds to the injection fluid, if applicable, if we have injection fluid. Blanks will be replaced by zeros. Okay. And if you want to do, if you want to normalize, you can click this button. But I will provide my components or compositions first. Let's say the CO2 237. This is the mole fraction or mole, for, mole percent instead. Nitrogen 0 0.31. CH4. 73, 73, 19. This one, 7.8. C3H8 is the propane, 354, 3.54. And then I, iso, isobutane, 0 0.72. N means normal. Normal butane is 1.44, whereas the isopentane is 0 0.65. And you can see the real-time summation. Normal pentane, NC5, 0 0.869, whereas this one, hexane, is 1.08 and the rest is C7 plus which is 8.21 and if you sum all of these compositions it will be added up to 100 percent so no need to normalize composition okay and then if you go to component composition plot you will have this one okay it's not, it's easy. It's just a bar chart showing you the components and also the composition. We have carbon dioxide, nitrogen, methane, ethane, propane, isobutane, normal butane, isopentane, normal pentane, hexane, and C7+. All right, so far so good. Now, we can check at this point, we can check the characterization, but it's still inactive. But if you go to calculations, yeah, it's still also inactive. Why? Because instead of pressing this one, we should press this one. Okay, showing CMG these numbers. So now it's active. The characterization, you can perform these operations. But now we will go to calculations. Okay, we can do several analysis, but let's start with, or let's check, for example, these operations, or if you want to generate, again, if you want to generate the PVT to be used in IMAX, black oil PVT data, or to be used in GEM, or to be used in STARS, okay? And let's say the first calculation that we want to run is saturation pressure. Okay, let's open. And now in our model three, we will have a new folder, saturation pressure. 